Hello and welcome back to our channel. I am Shiraz and you're watching Currency Corner YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today. Information Iraq is making progress towards internationalizing its currency, leading to significant excitement and optimism. The country is taking steps towards this goal and many believe that we are witnessing their plan unfold. There is a strong sense of confidence that Iraq is on track to make its currency international. However, for those considering retirement this year, based on an expected change in the Iraqi dinar's exchange rate, it might be wise to hold off for a while longer. With the upcoming election season, the future remains uncertain. We don't know who will take charge of the country or what kind of policies will be implemented that could impact Iraq. Additionally, news that the U.S. Treasury has taken up an entire floor in Iraq's central bank has raised concerns, signaling potential complications. Meetings between the U.S. Treasury and Iraq's central bank are scheduled for the end of August, which is fast approaching. A previous meeting went unannounced, but this time, there are expectations that Iraq will take significant steps, potentially involving the long-anticipated revaluation, RV, of its currency. In Iraq, there are high expectations for some news over the upcoming weekend regarding the dinar's value. Contacts in the country are hopeful about a change aimed at reducing reliance on the U.S. dollar. While much of the talk is speculative, many are looking towards Sunday for any updates on the situation. On the topic of printing new currency, the Parliamentary Finance Committee in Baghdad recently confirmed that there are no plans to issue new paper currency. They dismissed the idea of introducing new large denomination notes, known as triple zero notes, explaining that printing such currency during a period of low inflation would only fuel inflation. Recently, the country has even been destroying older triple zero notes, which indicates there is no intention to produce new ones at this time. Instead, the focus is on rolling out new lower denomination currency. Iraqi citizens have begun to see these new notes at the street level, signaling that the process of introducing them has started. The government has reportedly prepared and educated banks, large retailers, and exchange houses about the new security features and other details related to the lower denominations. A committee has also been formed to help educate the public on what these changes mean for prices and purchasing power. This rollout marks a significant development in Iraq's currency reform efforts. Although no new large denomination currency will be printed, the introduction of lower denominations at the street level is a clear indicator that the country is moving forward with its monetary reforms.